compromise You open my heart, I see you You're more than what they say you are Who they say you are You're more than what they see For you are the beat of the heart The rhythm of my life You are the first, you are the truth I'm amazed by you Your love A pleasant good morning to the saints of God. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I greet God's special people. You all are special in God's sight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Just want to share on a topic called looking unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I pray God that as I open my mouth, God, that you would use me to bless the people, to encourage them, God, to strengthen, to comfort, Father. Father, you speak by your Holy Spirit through me. Spirit of the living God, I depend upon you that Jesus would be glorified in this place. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Can we just turn to Hebrews chapter 12? Hebrews chapter 12 and, and reading from verse 2 and it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. So I want to just use that part, looking unto Jesus. And that word looking, in the Greek it is aphorao. It means looking away from something to something else. Or looking away from someone to someone else. It is like looking away from and at we're dealing with Jesus this morning. Looking unto Jesus. Today we have so many issues that are trying to get our attention. Different issues in the nation. Different issues in the earth. Even with our little phones and whatever social media are trying to get our attention. But the Bible says here, looking unto Jesus the autumn finish of our fate. I want to encourage you brothers and sisters in the Lord to look, look away from. We, the Christians, the born again people, we ought not to be singing the same songs that people sing. No, I'm not talking about tunes and whatnot. I'm talking about issues. Sometimes we're in the office or school or whatever and they just jump in then. It's only negative, negative, negative. We ought not to be singing the same song as the unsaver. We have a savior. We are the light of the world. And our tune ought to be different. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. One example. You might hear people talking about Trinidad is not a real place and all sorts of issues. Some people just listening to talk. Have any of you ever went to, gone away and gone to the, 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 the hospital, any hospital across there? Down here we have free medical attention. Free! We want to complain about waiting too long. You ever go in the hospital, you're paying, you know, and you still have to wait long. Sometimes we don't know what we're talking about, you know. We're criticizing the roads, or so much pothole, this road taking too long to fix. 
You don't mark up at all. Bad road. First world nation. Road start years ago and it didn't finish yet. People of God, let us sing a different song. Let us speak differently. Let us look unto Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. You hear what Habakkuk says? Habakkuk says, put it in my words. Though the olive may fail, the olive feed, the fields may fail. Though there be no, no, no fool or no fool in the flock. Put it into oh, my language and though your cupboards might be empty, your pockets, nothing in your pocket. Uh, Habakkuk says, yet I uh, will praise the Lord. I will rejoice in the Lord. Uh, amen, amen. Uh, Habakkuk went on to say, he will cause my feet uh, to walk on my high hills. Uh, amen. So when things go in negative, uh, we don't have to sing the same songs that people sing in. Looking unto Jesus. You all know the story about Peter. Jesus, they were in a boat, right? Peter and, and, and some disciples. And, and here comes Jesus walking on the water. Fisherman. Fishermen supposed to be brave people. Eh? But when they see Jesus walking in the water, they start a ball out then. Because they thought it was a ghost then. Jesus have to cry out to them to try to comfort them. Peace, it is I then. In other words, it is I, Jesus. And Peter, he says, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come to you. Jesus says, come. Now the wind was boisterous. Why is the wind in the boat? It was rough. They had a hard time getting to where they were going. But Jesus came through the rough waters, walking on the waters, Walking calmly, no sweat, just walking because he's Lord, huh? Peter saw the waters while she was in the boat, rough, the winds boisterous, but yet still, because he saw Jesus, because he was focused on Jesus, he said, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. Jesus says, Come, Margaret, the man stepped down in the rough waters, huh? He stepped down, bam, he went down. Thing going good, he's looking at Jesus. And then what happens? Yeah, you know what the Bible says, you know, when he observed the wind, when he observed how boisterous it was, it was not only when he went down in the, in the sea walking, the wind was became boisterous. So while he was in the boat, it was boisterous. But when he, what happened is that he took his eye off of Jesus. It is important to look to Jesus. He he was looking at Jesus and walking. But when he took his eyes off Jesus and started to concentrate on the waves, on the wind, you know, and fear stepped in now. Fear took over. Faith went out the door. And what happened? He started to sink. And he after cried, Lord, save me. And hear what Jesus says. Oh, you have little faith. Why did you doubt then, Jesus saying that? Faith. You see, if he had kept his eyes on Jesus, he needed to fix his eyes on Jesus. Just like today. Yeah, this little is you. Well, recently, you know, we went away, right? Sorry, sorry to the bankers in the house. But my, 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 my bank only gave him 240 US dollars. What, brother guy, what can you do with that in, in America? They want me to go down in Manhattan and stretch with man and beg. And you can't do nothing with 240 US in America. But you know, God is good. God started to provide the money through different means. Bankers, be careful. Eh? <laughs> you will get left out. Money start coming in, flowing in. My wife got some, I got some. I wanted, I personally didn't have a certain amount. I didn't get it twice, I was in Trinidad. But you know, when I went away, I got it. Money came up, money was given. Walking through here and there, Margaret, I can't say it too long, but picked up. 
God is good. People of God, look to Jesus. Yes, sometimes we want to look to this one and that one. You know, and look to government. I said it already. It doesn't matter who government in power. I will prosper. And this is the attitude Christians ought to have. Don't be, be, mm, don't be whining and, and whatever crying. And No, that is not the way God wants us to be. Let us look to Jesus. What are the benefits of looking to Jesus? When you look to Jesus, faith. You will get faith. Or whatever faith you have, it will remain. It will be constant then. You know, peace, joy, hope, answered prayer when you look to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to read our next verse here. In the same Hebrews chapter, in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 27, it says, hear this. It's speaking about Moses, it says, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 27, it says, By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. You hear that? He endured as seeing him who is invisible. God is invisible, eh? Can we see God? You can say no. But by faith, you could see God. And faith, if you're seeing God, you could go through. Sometimes we have to go through the rough periods. My advice is to you is to look unto Jesus. Look at Jesus by faith. Yes, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God the Father. But we can see Jesus standing at our side. We can see Jesus encouraging us. Come on, Rory, you can make it. Come on, come on, you can make it. Don't give up. Amen. You see, when we look, we can be like Moses. We can endure. Amen. Moses endured as seeing, as though if he was seeing God right next to him, as though if he was seeing God helping him. He endured as seeing him who is invisible. And here is, here is Sarah, Hebrews 11, 11. And it says, by faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed. And she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised she reckoned God faithful who promised. You know that's looking too. Looking, it's not necessarily with your eyes. Peter watched Jesus with his eyes. We don't have Jesus right now. So we have to watch Jesus through faith. Through the eyes of faith. Through, through the eyes of our mind. We must see Jesus. Sarah judged him. She considered God faithful. Is God faithful? God is faithful. I know we are humans, so we have that tendency sometimes, but we ought to catch ourselves. When we start to worry, we check ourselves. Worry, boy, stop, 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 stop. You have a big savior. When you start to be afraid, amen, do like David. Amen, what time I'm afraid. I will trust. Amen, yes, we will feel it. Sometimes the fear might want to rock you. But what time, do like the Bible, the Bible says, what time I'm afraid, I will trust. Recently, I told someone, you know, if you're afraid, don't, don't let the devil know. You know animals can pick up fear, right? Sometimes you show a dog you're afraid and the dog might will come at you. But you stand up. You, even you're pretending. You understand? You, you, you know, you stand up and the dog, will, he might bark and whatnot, but he's not coming. But when you show fear and you start to run, the dog come in behind you. People of God, let us look to Jesus. Jesus is our strength. He will give us that, that faith to stand strong. He will give us, uh, amen, 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 uh, that encouragement to stand strong. Uh, hallelujah. Let us look unto Jesus. How do we look to Jesus again? 
We have many issues, as I said before. The Bible says, uh, let your request be made known to God. You look to God in prayer. You look to Jesus in prayer. This is looking unto Jesus. It says, make your request known unto God. And what will happen? Peace. A benefit. A benefit of looking to God. Peace. The peace of God which passes all understanding will guard your heart, will guard my heart. Amen. It, it passes all understanding. Amen. When, when, when you're supposed to be in the mad house, when your neighbor's watching you, they're watching you, eh? Yeah, sometimes they don't know. There's Trinidad, eh? some of them know your business. They know you're not near your cover. They know you're scrunting. But yesterday, when I watched your sister Margaret and the seen a piece upon you, something, she mad, something, what is going on? It confusing them then. This piece passes all understanding. When we don't even understand, amen, I, I supposed to be sin tans, or, or I supposed to be pulling out my hair, but yet still I'm feeling a peace deep down on the inside. Amen. This is a benefit of looking to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, good Jesus. One time I was passing a particular church. You know those people who come wrong regular by your door. You know that time I like, I kind of watch them I pass, you know, and, uh, and somehow, like, I kind of figure, like, yeah, boy, like, if the happy or joyful. And I heard God, I can't remember the exact words, but it's, it's words to the effect. The words responded to me, you have more joy. You are more happy than them, then. Amen. You know, there, there, there's a scripture when, when, when David says, uh, amen, you have given me more joy, I have more joy, uh, than, in the, than when they had the abundance of wine then. Amen. I have more joy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have joy available to us. This is our next benefit. Hear what Jesus says. To you, to you, to you, to me. How he says. He says, ask. And you shall receive. Why? That your joy might be full. Are we asking? Sometimes we're not asking, you know. Sometimes we're complaining. Not asking. Sometimes we're murmuring. Not asking. Let us ask, brothers and sisters. This is for you. It's available. One of the benefits of looking to Jesus is joy. The Jesus desires your joy to be full. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus. Another benefit is hope. Looking unto Jesus. When we look, it brings hope. We have hope. We have a main hope. Yes, one day Jesus is coming. But, but we on this earth, why is we going through here? And people of God, this is my sin. In this Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad has money, believe it or not. And some belongs to me. See us. Let us have that attitude. And people have gone, sometimes you know you don't have money it's like your neighbor, you know. But your money with wisdom, God's wisdom, it going further. Your money with God's con God control in your life. It goes further. We don't waste. I don't watch it. When, <laughs> since back then, when me and my wife got married, about decades, four decades plus, no alcohol, Margaret, malt and thing like that. You know, <laughs> this is kind of you know malt could full up your belly, right? You drink too much malt, your belly full. But we feed the people. The people were full. Come like Jesus, multiply fish. And it had leftover. But we are leftover. You had a care home thing then. Because we had food and we had drink. We ain't wasted our money and our alcohol. You know, some people want to buy. What is it? Johnny Walker? Johnny Walker. <laughs> Walker black and blue and all kind of thing. And they're spending the money. Money that they don't have. They're going by the bank. Christians, we wiser than that. We feed any people good. 
but we still keeping some money in our pockets. God blesses us with wisdom, looking unto Jesus, the author and finish of our faith. I just want to read something. I'm not going long this day. Psalm 44. Here where it says, We have heard with our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us the deeds you did in their days, in days of old. This is Israel. Eh? You drove out the nations with your hand, but them, Israel, you planted. You afflicted the peoples and cast them out. Verse 3 says, this is for Israel now. For they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword. Mm -hmm. Nor did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand and your arm and the light of your countenance because you favor them. People of God, here, here is a secret of trusting in Jesus. Of looking unto Jesus. Yes, we have talents. Some of you have certificates in abundance. You can make a whole book if you put your certificates together. That is good. You have experience, talents, which is good. But let us look to Jesus. Let us not depend on certification and experience because you know what? You ever see that somebody get, got, get a job that you applied for? You have more qualification than them, more experience than them, and yet still somebody get, get the job? Uh -huh. So let us depend on Jesus. Let us look to Jesus. You understand? They say it for their own arm. They didn't get the land by their own sword, nor did their own arm save them. Verse 4 says, You are my king, O God. Command victories for Jacob. People of God, we can say that also. I say it. You are my God. You are my king, O God. Command victories for Rory. Tell God, don't be afraid. Use the scripture for your benefit. You are my king, O God. Command victories for me. Command victories for Rory. Command victories. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 5 says, through you, we will push down our enemies. Through you, eh? Not through our own abilities, you know. No, David and them were warriors that could have fight. But yet still the same. Through you, through you, oh God, we will push down our enemies. Through your name, we will trample those who rise up against us. And verse 6 says, For I will not trust in my bow. Nor shall my sword save me. David and his men were skilled men. Israelis were, 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 were top of the line long ago. They could have fight. They could still fight. As you might observe today. Amen. But the secret is that we must not trust in our own abilities. In our own weaponry. Let us trust. Look Fix our eyes on Jesus. Amen, amen. We must see Jesus standing at the right hand of God, encouraging us, cheering us on. When we go into our problems, we must see Jesus interceding for us at the right hand of God. When we get ourselves in some kind of difficulty, we must see Jesus as our advocate, representing us before God. Amen. Jesus is the best lawyer there is, the best attorney. There's nothing better than Jesus. Hallelujah. One time Jesus, when he was on earth, he said, Father, I know that you always hear me. Always. That time he was on earth. Now he gone, he gone next to the father. You think the father won't hear him? When he's praying for you, when he's praying for me, when he's advocating on our behalf, when he's pleading for us, Jesus is our advocate, our attorney, and he's making representation for us. People of God, people of God, I, I desire, but God more so, God, God desires us to be full of faith. God desires us 
to be full of his peace. God desires us to, to, to be full of his joy. This is God's desire for you and for me. God desires us to have hope in spite of. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. People of God. I am blessed. Are you blessed? And you must see it with conviction. When you read in the Bible, take the promises of God as your own. The Lord is my, my, my shepherd. I don't know about your people down the road, but I know he's my shepherd. Even when I was without a father, there's a scripture that talks about he loves the fatherless. Hey, so I considered myself special, even though when I was fatherless. People of God, I know we have issues. But do not let your issues pull you down. Amen. You have issues, look up. Don't look down. Don't run to this one and just talk and talk. Mm -mm. That ain't doing you nothing. Look to Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Do not be like Peter and, and just study the waves and the wind. Amen. And the issues and property tax. Property tax. No, hear this. I don't know if you all know where I'm going. But I am disappointed in the government. Hear this. Don't, don't think. Sister, stop right there. Sister, Sister Novel, you know what i supposed to pay? Less than a, a, a month's cable. Less than. Right now, it's, it's guess what? What do you call it? What are you all, Margaret and them? This restaurant week or something? Two, no, no, again. Two fifth, uh, three fifth. You know, I pay in less than the lease in property tax. People of God, do not let people set you up. I pay in so little bit at a disappoint, a vex. I don't know why they reduce it for me. That is it. Eh? Why they carry down to 2%? They should have stayed at 3%. For me, eh? I don't know what you are paying. But sometimes we just get, we get yeah, this kind of assessment. And we've seen a big some big thousands. And we figure, well, that is the property tax. That is not the property tax. The property tax is so little that it's ridiculous. And some of us were, since I think was last year, people thing and property tax and all kind of thing. People, let us use our brain. God give us a brain. Don't let people chain you up. Eh? God give you a brain. Think. You know, because things going out there and have people tie up, confusing people. I am paying very little. Too little in my book. Yeah. Too little, Sister Margaret. <laughs> God is good. I don't know. God is good to me. I am seeing God's favor upon me. You know, I'm seeing God's blessing upon me. And I pray that God will... Oh, gosh. You know, I saw Sister Kim up for prayer last week. And it kind of... Hmm. Brothers and sisters, let us pray for us, brothers and sisters. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters. Sometimes, you know, they might, their eyes might be a little distracted. You know, they're looking away. But we, 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 we can pray for them. Let us pray for one another. Seriously pray for one another. You might not like me too much, but say, Rory, that fellow, give him some wisdom. God, just bless him. You can just say a quick prayer. You understand? But let's be serious. Let's seriously, let's pray for one another. We can help one another. We can strengthen one another. We who are looking to Jesus, as I said before, we are humans and sometimes we can get distracted. But we must quickly check ourselves. And if we as Christians, sometimes you're seeing a brother or sister, well, they're struggling. Maybe you can encourage them with a word. But we all can definitely pray for one another. Prayer works. The prayer of a righteous man is effective to accomplish much. I'm finishing. Here it says about 
Elijah, he was a man just like us, eh? Passions like us. He had big victory, fire come down, and then one little woman threatened him, he ran. He was just like us. But yet still, when that man decides to pray, when he goes down on his knees, God hears and answers. So let us not condemn ourselves. Let us not look down upon ourselves. You know, I'm righteous enough, no boy. Uh, 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 don't beat upon yourselves. God loves you. You believe in Jesus. Jesus is your savior. He loves you. You are just like Elijah. He prayed and God answered. You also can pray. Yes, Sister Kimberly. Don't let no issues throw you off. You know, sometimes, I say, you know, you ever wish you were perfect? Ah, I wish, you know, you wish you were perfect. You ain't making no mistake. But this, that is not a reality in this life. If we were perfect, we wouldn't need Jesus, eh? Hey, brother guy. But we have Jesus. And Jesus came not for the perfect ones. Jesus came for us. So my encouragement to you is look to Jesus. Since he came for you, look to him. He left heaven and came for you. When Jesus was upstairs, putting it my, word, my words, Jesus didn't know what it was to be hungry. You know? He didn't know what it was to be tired. He didn't know what it was to be tempted. Jesus, when Jesus, because God, you cannot, God cannot be tempted to do evil. And what the Bible says, our God don't slumber nor sleep. But when Jesus came down on earth, he was slumbering and sleeping. Sleeping on the boat. He was hungry. Yeah, so, so Jesus knows what we are going through, brothers and sisters. He knows. Believe it. He knows and he cares. And if you just reach out to him, he will answer. God will provide. God will make a way. God will strengthen your, 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 your faith. God will give you hope. God will, amen, give you joy. God will pour in his peace upon you once we look to Jesus. So brothers and sisters, I, I thank you for listening to me and I pray that God will bless you. Bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But before I go, is there anyone in the house uh, who doesn't know Jesus as Savior? If, if there is anyone in the house who doesn't know Jesus as their Savior, can I, and you would like to say yes to Jesus, can I see by a show of hands if there is anyone here? Okay. But right now, before I go, I want to just pray for the people. Heavenly Father, you know the issues, you know the struggles, Father. Father, and I pray, God, uh, by your power, God, uh, you will move on behalf of my brothers and sisters, uh, those viewing online also, God. Uh, I pray, God, uh, that you will make a way where there is no way, Father. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Heavenly Father, move mightily. Demonstrate your love to the people, God. Uh, Demonstrate your love. Let them know it deep down inside. Let them see you in action on their behalf, Father. Let them see you opening doors, making ways for them, God. Let them see you silencing their enemies, God. Let them see you, God, providing. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Let them see you, God, by promotions, God. Yes, God, increase salaries, God, in the name of Jesus. God, bless your people. Bless your people, God, because you love them, God. Because you are, you are favorable to them. Bless them. Pour your blessings upon them, God. In the name of Jesus, God. And Holy Spirit, I ask you, God, help us all. Help us to look, to look, to constantly look. When we're looking away, remind us, Holy Spirit, to look to Jesus. Because he says, I, I am he who comforts you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man that will die? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for worshipping with us today. We are so glad you were able to join us. If you were a first-time visitor to our service, thank you for choosing to spend this time with us. We pray that our worship service inspired you 
that the Word of God impacted you and we believe it will transform your life. Be sure to check our Facebook page, La Hocketa Gospel Foundation, for updates on all of our services. We would like to be of assistance to you. So if you need prayer, counseling, or any other assistance, we invite you to contact us at 707-9507 or 241-0893 and someone will be there to assist. Looking forward to seeing you at another of our services and may God richly bless you. Do have a great week.